Hey guys, Clay Albright here. I uh, was swimming through Steam it uh, earlier today and found this article and I really wanted to share it with you. It's uh, entitled EOS Telegram Summary from April the 2nd, 2018. And it's done by EOS Go, at least the Steam it article is. Um, and uh, what they're doing is they're just recapping people uh, regarding the conversations on Telegram. And oftentimes, Dan Larimer is uh, present in these conversations. But specifically on this particular uh, article right here, where it says uh, Scatter creator N.S. James wrote the book on developing for EOS versus Ethereum. Okay, so N.S. James is the developer of Scatter. I've seen some videos of him before. Uh, very sharp guy, great at communicating. And here, he is, uh, well, let me just read it to you. Here's a bit of conversation I'm having, this is N.S. James talking. Here's a bit of conversation I'm having with someone who asked me about something I said in an interview with Scatter. In this video, you mentioned how all your friends who are developers would never touch blockchain, but would work with EOS. Can you elaborate on why? Why won't your friends touch blockchain in the first place? And what is the big difference between EOS and the other blockchains? And uh, NS James responded with this. I think it comes down to usability. We, Coder Monkey friends, all know a very large variety of languages and have firsthand experiences with proper workflows. There's a running joke between us about how integrating with Ethereum is like coding using punch hole cards. I've tinkered with Ethereum and a few other blockchains over the years from time to time, waiting for them to get better, but none, of a, but none I have tried ever has. I recently had the immense displeasure of making the airdrop site for Scatter, which integrated with MetaMask Ethereum. And it was an exact proof of the point. I had the front end, back end, and caching databases database clusters done and up in about 24 hours. I then had to spend over two weeks working out bugs in Solidity. Solidity is the uh, language of Ethereum. And running tests, which sometimes failed, not because of the code, but because of the tools. I even ended up finding unfixable bugs within Solidity and Ethereum virtual machine itself that shot gas prices up an entire 100K per request just to delete an array mapping item at an index. Hell, out of the about 20 times I tried to sync my local machine, which takes six hours each time, with the Ethereum network, I got it to fully sync once, and my computer is definitely up to spec. I ended up having to do things externally and not be able to track the process of uploading the contracts or their tests on the test network. It's stuff like that that kept me away for the most part. If having something be immutable makes it impossible to work on and be confident about the product, then immutability is the bottleneck and the first thing to get rid of. After working with EOS for a while now, I don't get that feeling. We don't have to learn new languages or create new libraries. We get to tap into one of the most stable and library rich languages around C++. Excuse me, C++. The most basic tools are made by Block One themselves and are well done. I constantly felt that Ethereum tools were made by very subpar developers. And the most important factor, it's blazing fast. Talking about EOS. Waiting even one minute for a request to complete is unacceptable. And it wasn't, and if it wasn't Ethereum, no one would even do it. So man, that's a viewpoint of NS James, programmer of Scatter, and I'm assuming many, many other coders or developers out there. Um, I'm not ragging on Ethereum. I just, it, it drills home that since, you know, 2015, we've had these ideas that we want to implement on open source, uh, you know, decentralized blockchain. And uh, to date, really haven't had a good opportunity. So when EOS does launch in June, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people, uh, a lot of developers, um, anxiously, you know, awaiting uh, the release of this new software so they can build their platform or their their project or their app so i uh, wanted to share that with you hope you guys are having a good day we'll talk to you later